Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. Um, quite a bit of things are, are happening today. The very first thing is uh, we are heading down to um, the gastroenterologist to drop off my samples. Um, I Actually, I'm going to speak slightly candidly here and keep it vague so it's not super gross, but I'm going to warn you that it's at least somewhat gross. Somewhat gross. So if you're not into like even faintly gross things, I'll put a little timestamp on screen so you can skip ahead. I'll give you a minute to do that. This is your final warning. I'm going to tell you some things. Okay, at this point, I assume you're gone. Um, so as a reminder, I had to do a stool sample, or it's a stool study is what it's called, stool study. Yeah. You had to um, give a sample. I had to get, well, well, that's the thing. I can't remember if I talked about this whenever we finished my follow-up uh, last Thursday, but um, they gave me a bag of seven, seven files, um, little jars to fill. And uh, a lot of those have marks on the side that are like, please fill to this line. That's a lot. Like that's a, that's a lot. And uh, different bags require different things. So like one of the vials needs to be frozen. Two of them need, no, three, four, no, four of them need to be refrigerated and then two others at, at room temp. I think if you were just bringing them all the same day, it wouldn't matter, but if you're gonna store them for any length of time, you have to do that. You almost certainly have to store them because it's a lot of sample. So like I did most of them yesterday and then I did one today. Um, or realistically I did five yesterday and two today. Uh, I, I don't wanna talk in detail about it, but you go, it, they give you this little hat thing. You go to the bathroom in the hat and then you move it yourself from that hat that collects it into these these vials and you have to fill them up. I am someone who has always been comfortable talking about that sort of thing. And in my head, I was like, this won't be a big deal. I'll be fine. I'll be able to do this. I, 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 yesterday when I did it for the first time, I, it was, I was queasy. I was really queasy because you, you seldom are that face to face with your your own mess and it's it just it just smells it's one of those things that like i don't vomit easily or anything um and i didn't vomit but like it it made me very i was like oh 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 and it took a while to do because you have to fill up all those vials so anyway uh that sucked but it is done and um, I have it all ready to, to drop off today. And then, you know, the, the hope is that we'll learn maybe something about uh, what's going on in me. Or at the very least, we'll learn things that aren't going on. So that's kind of valuable too. Once we do that, we've also uh, got to do some shopping today. We're going down to Costco. We got a message from my mom who's like, hey, I'm going to Costco today. You want anything? And we're like, we're going to Costco today. So I think we might actually meet up with them and get lunch. So that'll be nice. And then later, um, as, as long as the plane arrives at a, at a good time, uh, we're going to be having dinner with Paul. So um, his flight got delayed a little bit. If it gets delayed further, it might not happen just because by the time he gets here, there's not going to be anything open for dinner. But um, we're still hoping to, to have dinner with Paul at the moment. But right now, I'm going to get my shoes on and uh, we're going to go drop off this stuff. I got a grilled cheese. Oh, that's a grilled cheese. Oh, I see. Mine is the bacon. You ended up not getting a grilled cheese, I see. Or is that kind of a grilled cheese? Is there cheese on it? There is cheese on it. Then it counts maybe just a little bit. We got an omelet. I haven't had this in forever. This is the uh, pretzel something sample. This plate is scalded. Gracious. I'm glad that we were able to get lunch, though. Yes, I am too. Worked out really good. Yeah, we ended up having to be around the same place at around the same time. I'm excited to eat this, but now I'm a little jealous of yours. <laughs> So we did our shopping. We got a few things at Costco. Mostly I just needed milk because we have an inexplicable amount of cereal right We're now. Our last contact solution bottle. Well, that solved. But now Dan is here. Hi. And we're going to drive with Dan to, where are we going? Merle's Inlet? Yes. Merle's Inlet. There's, a, there's an area down there called the Marsh Walk. You've never been there, right? Uh, I don't think so. Probably not. It's, it's a, uh, so <sighs> Myrtle Beach is kind of hard. Myrtle Beach is like, Myrtle Beach is a city 
However, when people say Myrtle Beach, they're usually referring not just to Myrtle Beach, but like to a much larger area that actually encompasses several different the Grand city. Strand. It's the Grand Strand. The Grand Strand contains Myrtle Beach, but then also North Myrtle Beach, which is, which is a separate city, and then Cherry Surfside. Grove and Surfside Polly's and Polly's Atlantic and Myrtle's Inlet, Atlantic Beach. Atlantic Beach. There's like all these little beaches that make up the Grand Strand, but most people just colloquially call them uh, Myrtle Beach. But we're going to the very, 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 very far south end to Myrtle's Inlet, which is also, if you want, Myrtle Beach. Did you, did you say why we're going? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to go see Paul. Paul yeah. is driving at this point, right? Yeah. Okay. We need to go. Okay. Well, then let's go. I've never eaten down there, and there's plenty of places to eat. So we're going to find a place that's open, probably a little late. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're still recording. <laughs> Go ahead. So this is the Marsh Walk um, in Merle's Inlet. It just, it's this long boardwalk, which extends for quite a ways. There's a ton of restaurants that are, marsh. that are alongside here. That's the marsh. And that, well, it's a little hard to see at night. Yeah. But yeah. The lights even past that are houses on the ocean. That's how far we are. Yeah. But it's nice, it's peaceful. There's not a whole lot of people out right now, but it's also kind of, it's kind of getting a little late. Yeah. We're actually gonna be catching kind of the end of the night for some, some of these restaurants. Some are actually not even open late enough that we need. We, we're going to Wahoo's, which is open until 10, which is good because that's, <laughs> that's, that's what time we need them to stay open. There's Creek Rats. Outdoor seating, but it's nice in the summer. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I've seen photos at Christmas, and everything is done up in lights. Yeah, we should come back in the summer. Hello. Oh, you made it. I'm good. I'm good. Sorry that I'm late. I almost wish I would have got that based on just the broccoli. Not the broccoli, the asparagus. We just the had broccoli. broccoli. <laughs> what's, what, what's wrong with this broccoli? <laughs> it's so it's skinny broccoli. It's so skinny. Uh, Mal got, you got coconut shrimp, right? Mm -hmm. Me and Dan got um, on a diet. The, uh, the fried shrimp platter, which looked really good. You got the chef special. Some, it's rockfish rock with some fish. sort of hollandaise sauce. Yeah, that's right. I had considered that one, but then it had been so long since I had fried shrimp that I was like, mm -hmm. oh man, I gotta just do this. Paul, it was good to see you again. Good to see you too. And uh, I don't know when we'll see you next, but you know, if you're ever nearby, let us know. It's nice to, I mean, it's nice to see you and then also nice to try a completely new place. This was, this was good too. I liked it. Yeah. Dan, it was good to see you. Sam? Are, are you taking me back home? Nope. I need to, oh, you no. Gotta you got to hitchhike. You got to hitchhike. Well, Sorry, you, bud. All right. Come back um, to Charleston just... with me. You want a little vacation? Sure. Actually. <laughs> Why am I in the air? Do not hold. Please. Why you am I in the air? You got a big chunk of something next to your eye, buddy. Mm, I think he scratched at his eye and it's just... Irritated? Yeah. I think that's what happened. Anyway, uh, great to see Paul actually been a while since we've yeah. seen Paul in person although I was talking to Dan in the car about this it's weird whenever you you do video calls with your friends every single week because you your brain interprets that as like I'm seeing this person but only when you see them in person does it click that like oh I haven't like seen this person in person in a while it's just the brain is interesting. Anyway, that was fun. Uh, There's also two things on the menu that I didn't, uh, or I filmed, but I didn't show earlier, so I'll show them now. We got a crab dip appetizer. That was good. Very much enjoyed that. And then uh, I actually, they have sushi there, and, uh, you know, I, I got a, a normal meal, but I got a sushi roll before I got my meal because uh, it was something I'd never had before. It was fried chicken. I think it was blackened chicken. And it had um, cucumber and a wasabi ranch sauce. It was just really different. Um, there's only been a few times over the years that I've had uh, a sushi roll that had fried chicken in it. And it's just a really weird experience. It was very good. Like the stuff that they put with it, like it worked. But it was really strange and I wanted to, I wanted to try it. So 
I mean, everyone at the table got a chance to try it, and everyone was like, yeah, it's pretty good. We'd order it again. Anyway, fun night. But now it is time to uh, time to get some sleep. Uh, you know, it's, it's the one thing about meeting up is that we – we drove a little bit. Paul drove actually even further, uh, and we by the time we we have our our late dinner and then come back, it's it's about time for bed. So I'm gonna get some sleep, and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I don't know how long it's gonna take to get the results from that uh, that stool study, but I I hope that I'll learn something relatively soon. We'll see. Thanks for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Thank you.